Hey guys, I'm back for more Red Den. I think this is part three, I believe. I think I'm gonna try to do some online too. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plan. Have you, Mr. Marston? Yes, from Lee Johnson to set up here and build a life for yourself. Um, maybe those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I have one. I'm trying to claim it. Well, maybe what you'd say is that I have two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but if you hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blind in the bar fights out of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you did. The leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure, and I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, buddy. I'm an uneducated killer, sitting here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen. Can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, honey? No. Nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction.
horse. We got work to do. Heard the cows into the pen, right? Get behind the cows in order. Heard the cows into the old tree. Press up to drive them. True formation is a master of all suspects of the wildness. The path is becoming a true legend along in shooting birds or skin coyotes to start on your way.
I always want to try to multiplayer on this. We'll get there. Excuse me. speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You did one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. You know what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. He seems one. Going to get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I haven't seen enough of your hide around here. Friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and try them. Oh, hardy fucking hard. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to kill, capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy. I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway. The people pay my salary trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burn down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Getting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. It's early yet. Give me a couple more days. I'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. Come on, boy. Too late for cold feet now. So who are we looking for? Bunch of two bit losers. It's getting late, guys. I gotta stop you here. I'm sorry. Do I have to save it? I gotta save my progress. If I do, I have to...
I like to save it here. If I don't, I'll see you next time. Or either I'll do the multiplayer. I'll start from this point. I have what I did. This is the gameplay game. I love you guys. See you later. Bye. I'm getting hungry too.